Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, we're doing a hands-on today with Lenovo's IdeaPad 710S. Uh, so let's get started. So the Lenovo IdeaPad 710S is capable of going up to 2.20 gigahertz of 6th gen Intel i7 processor. The max of memory is only 16 gigs of LPWDR3, and the capacity of storage is only able to go up to 512 gigs of PCIe solid state drive. For the graphics processor, you can only go up to Intel Iris Graphics 540 series, and it comes with a beautiful 13.3 Full HD IPS anti-glare LED backlight display. The resolution of this display is 1920 by 1080. It's equipped with a webcam that only goes up to 720p, and the primary operating system is Windows 10 Home 64-bit. The starting retail price for this laptop is around $699. So let's take a closer look on Lenovo's IdeaPad 710S. Now, if you have the laptop facing you to the point that you're able to open up the lid this way, let's take a look at the right side. So on the right-hand side, we have our lock mechanism to lock it down. We have one three-point zero USB as well as a OTG which is on a go uh, power USB. We have a uh, card reader, SD card reader, and we have our power indicator. On the back side we have no ports and on the other side, the left hand side, we have a power port as well as our power indicator and right next to that we have another additional 3.0 USB we have a hybrid port which allows us to hook up our headphone as well as our mic and we have Lenovo's reset button. At the bottom of the laptop don't really have too many ports but we do have the two speakers which are right here on the side and we have our ventilation system right here. So how's the keyboard layout? Now the keyboard layout has a lot of space between the keys which is really good. Uh, it's very responsive. The only problem between the keys that I'm having issues is that the delete and power button are too close to me. When I'm typing real fast and I need to delete something, I'm always constantly hitting the power button and the machine will go to sleep or shut off on me. So how does the keys feel? The keys for me feels very nice, very smooth on the fingertips. I do feel a little bit of tension when I'm clicking on them, but very responsive on the point when you're typing. Uh, you do hear a little clicking on them, but that's okay. The fact that you're able to type and just get that quick response on the keyboard is amazing. Now the distance between the keys and the trackpad is, it's great for big hand people. When I have my fingers on the primary keys and I'm typing and I need to use the trackpad, my thumb is right there. It's a perfect distance between my primary fingers, my typing fingers and my thumb. I'm a little bit concerned for individuals with smaller hands. You're probably gonna have a little bit of issues when typing. You probably need to raise your hand and then use the, the trackpad. But for big hand people, it is great. Now talking about the trackpad. Now I've had some issues with Lenovo's trackpads and certain laptops, but this one, I mean, beats it. Very responsive, uh, there's no lag, no jumping when I'm constantly using it. That's always a great thing. When I'm clicking on something and actually clicks it, which is great, I love that. Now the size of the trackpad is about four inches, which is, a little bigger than the iPhone 6 Plus. So this is the iPhone 6 Plus right here. And just gonna leave it right in the corner. You got about an inch left. Okay, so the next thing is the screen. Now the screen is a perfect size for traveling people. It's about 13.3 inches. If you're measuring it from tip from tip from the corners, uh, it is anti-glare display, which is a huge plus for me, especially if you're going outside and love to use your laptop, you know, get some fresh air. You don't have that direct sunlight hitting it. And you probably see that I am recording and you don't see the, my hands on the screen and you don't see the camera on the screen as well, which is also a plus. Now this is full HD and it gives you the highest resolution on this display is only 1920 by 1080, which is, you know, again, full HD. Uh, I, I love the fact that it, they try to do the kind of infinity display bezel that uh, the Dell XPS 13 has. I know I had to bring that up, 
but you do have a webcam on the top right here which is in perfect angle for you to do skyping or video conferencing with this laptop this laptop does not come in touch display so you're only going to get the anti-display matted uh, ips led display so how about the sound quality on the 710s now the sound quality is amazing uh, the 710s does come with jbl technology which gives you that extra boost and that great quality when you're listening to music so let's test it out. Now I got my dB meter right here and I'm going to turn it on. And right now it's reading between 40, but because I'm talking, it's going really high. So let's raise this guy up. It's set on zero. Let's raise it up real quick. So right now that's 20. Let's raise it up a little bit more. That's 50. Let's raise it up again. All right, so that was 100% and it reached up to 89.9. Uh, it raised up, I would say, 30 decimals higher than what the room sound was providing, which is pretty high. But as you guys can hear, I mean, with the JBL technology on the IdeaPad 710S, it provides that great sound. I did hear a little bit of distortion when you get to 100%. If you lower down the sound a little bit and don't max it out to 100 percent you probably will still get that great quality and enjoy your music so my overall impressions of the ideapad 710s now the size is right there dead on for those individuals that need a laptop to travel and travel light the display size is great to view netflix watch hulu and also do some quick editing with documents such as photoshop premiere uh, for 13.3 inches you could do a lot now the overall size of the body is around 12.09 by 8.42 inches, which is extremely small. Now Lenovo does classify this to be light and thin, and it is, trust me, it is light and thin. Uh, I think it weighs less than 2.8 pounds. And the thickness is only 0.55 inches, which is pretty thin, it's really light. I mean, you can actually travel around with it, hold it with no problem and it's pretty good. So how about the build on the 710S? Now the 710S build is dead on. I like the metallic metal design of it. Uh, the entire body is made of the same design except at the bottom when you get the rubber grids. The only plastic that you would get throughout the body is the frame of the display. That's the only plastic but overall everything else is kind of like a metallic kind of metal design and that's it guys for a hands-on review on Lenovo's IdeaPad 710S. I mean the laptop is pretty good pretty awesome for the retail price of $700 but you're only going to be getting an i5 processor 8 gigs of memory and about 128 gigs of solid state drive for that price. If you want to get the laptop with i7 processor 256 gigs of solid state drive and 16 gigs of memory, you're going to be spending roughly between $1,100 to $1,200, depending on where you're going to get it. Uh, it's a great laptop for travelers. It's extremely light. It's extremely powerful. I mean, I was able to do rendering and do Photoshop renderings with no problem with this laptop. It was a little bit hesitant, but overall, it worked. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this hands-on review. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.